I just wanted to point out to the board that um, the Northwest next Northwest Iowa League meeting is June 17th in Sioux Center. Uh, Barb wanted me to share that with the group, and if anyone would like to go, please let me go know this evening so I can contact um, the group and let them know that you plan on attending. Uh, then also just an update that you'll be seeing. Uh, uh, we're expecting some bid packets back on, at the next meeting. Uh, both for the grinding of the uh, limbs out at the BF, behind the BFW building, and we're also expecting uh, new bids back for the um, gutter equipment over at the water treatment plant. So that'll be coming up there. Yeah, okay. Any other items under the council form? Well, I would. <clears throat> what I was talking about I, um, was. I think we have an issue here with our maintenance department with being short of help after we had an employee transfer to the sewer plant. And what got my attention, what brought this all about is one day I see Bob driving the garbage truck. Because we've got one of the guys down with a bum knee and we're, uh, we are short of help. And what I wanted to bring up to the council was a possibility of either realignment partially and maybe hiring some help just to even run the mower. Because before we've been pretty lucky here. We haven't had the rain. And now we're, you know, this July 4th weekend here. And I, all I wanted to do is bring up about hiring some part-time help and or some realignment of, you know, if there's anything else we could look at in regards to uh, any other employees to help out some of the maintenance help. Because I think they're getting very, looks to me like they're getting stretched. I don't like the idea that the head of our maintenance department is driving the garbage truck because we got no other people. And I think with Tom, if we could get Tom out there away from that mower, just even part time, you know, do, get some part time help in there, or look at some other realignment, that's all I wanted to bring up on that is just to see what's what we can do to help out. <coughs> you know, when we moved. Is it clear, Brian? Mm -hmm. to, to the when we moved there to the wastewater treatment plant, we did not backfill that position. That's, right? that's correct. Last uh, July, August, I believe, roughly was the time frame when he went over there. Uh, we did not backfill that position. And, and has Bob or any of the employees indicated anything that, that they would like to see happen? Uh, I think Bob has made it very clear, and, uh, and unfortunately, I would have loved to, if, if I knew you were going to ask that question tonight, I could ask Bob to be here. Uh, but I think I can say it with all confidence that Bob has made it very clear he would have liked to have backfilled the position at that time. And uh, I don't think his position on that issue has changed since then. Well, I'm just looking right now for some immediate help here is to get some part time, just like even us, Tom. Instead of running a mower all the time, you know, we could get some part time help in here to help help out. I, I firmly believe we ought to be looking at the contract. I'm against hiring any more people, but I think it wouldn't be a bit of both hiring or doing contracting out on some of this work stuff that could be done by somebody else. Well, I know I've discussed uh, a little bit internally the idea of doing uh, for next season, we opening up I to do some contracting. Well, Jim, in regards to that, okay, by the time we turn around, put it on the agenda, send out bids, you know, we're going to waste a month here for this. You know, I'm looking at some immediate help here now. Because we start having guys going on vacation, we got one down right now, loose with a knee. You know, say somebody else pulled, you know, wants, you know, takes a week or two off of vacation. You know, and here we got, there's a lot of things that need to be caught up, and I was just looking at in the years past, the, the city has used the practice of hiring seasonal help, uh, especially during the spring and summer period, to uh, to ease during the uh, to the more <coughs> excuse me heavy burden time periods. And <coughs> I'd be happy to post out for uh, some seasonal help in the process. You know, just on a part-time basis, so we're not we're not looking at you know uh, benefits, nighters, and, and that kind of situation. What, what process would we have to follow? Just have, do we have to advertise for it, or can we? Just... I'll have to go and look and see if the position actually is covered by the job descriptions. Um, uh, uh, 
if it is qualified under the job descriptions, I can go ahead and post it out um, and, uh, uh, and begin the process. So, so, so we do have to post it on, if we had something in mind or something like that? Yeah, we'd want to post it out either way. Okay. Uh, uh, just to make sure that we uh, uh, don't violate any hiring practices, sure. any state hiring practices. Okay. But, I mean, you, you can post it out mm -hmm. within a week <coughs> uh, already have somebody in a position okay. in a seasonal situation. You know, and, and wouldn't you think it would be a good idea to get the city employees to the men in the shop and so on and what their feelings are? And, you know, oh, yeah, I agree. Make a list of things that could be done. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, that, that they can, that, you know, it depends on the individual, you know, and it small community like this, you know, everybody's going to know everybody, so they're going to kind of know, okay, hey, this guy can handle all this, and this guy maybe not, or whatever, you know. And I think they ought to get up. Adam, you ought to get up. Uh, you're looking at some of the, you know, some applicants for that or something, that's some of the guys. Uh, that's it. Uh, you know, just off the top of my head, some of the activities I would think of that uh, are done on a normal basis that could be eased with seasonal help mowing um, the guy on the back of the trash truck is, of course, another location where um, it's very easy to train an individual to perform those type of services and uh, every leave somebody else on your staff to do other activities. So I'll, uh, yeah, I'll start the process. Okay. Mm -hmm. a any other items in the form? It looks to me like the park is a little bit here on the campus, is that right, or is it just me driving through it? Yes, uh, I, I don't know with... greatly improved, but somewhat. Um, through the month of May, I believe, Teresa was telling me that we had brought in roughly this season about $3,000, which if you look at what we brought in all of last year, all of last year, I believe, was just over four. So we are looking at a situation... <coughs> excuse me. Where... Uh, we're looking at a good year. I don't know if we can say this is systemic growth because uh, I believe a lot of the growth is actually you can contribute to the projects going yeah. on either in town or, or outside of town, yeah. like, for instance, road construction. So um, uh, I, I don't know that you can point to that. And of course, we're already looking at very strong expectations for the July 4th weekend and the for the fair, we're always booked up during the fair weekend as well. So we're expecting some uh, some good-sized crowds in the parks coming up this July 4th weekend. Well, another thing I just wanted to throw out here, uh, I heard from some fair board members that slip line down through the fairgrounds here has dried it up. Now, I, I, I'd say, uh, based on the amount of rain we've got, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to take a look back there and see what kind of, uh, what kind of... Uh, yeah, we're working on mosquito control right away now, are we? Yeah, I was talking with, actually, Bob this morning about that a little bit to make sure that we don't get, uh, don't get behind the mosquito control. Anything else? If not, I'll sure entertain a motion for adjournment. So move. Second. Okay. Right. Uh, second. Councilman Nathan? Yes. Uh, ready? Yes. Frederick? Yes. Provars? Yes. Gary, Bill, can I spend a couple minutes talking to you guys? Sure. This is interesting.